birds in the wood, and I, I took the one that traveled by. That makes all the difference. Hey guys, I get asked where I'm from, and my preferred answer outside of border mentality is I'm a person living on this wonderful planet, and I love to travel and see other people's cultures. And I'd love to take you on that journey with me. And this, well, this is my experience. Have you found joy in your life? <laughs> Has your life brought joy to others? <laughs> life is not just the passing of time and how we choose to measure it. Life is the collection of our experiences. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the PMA experience. Life on the road. I am very aware of the preciousness of time. Time is a precious thing. Never waste it. Never waste it. Never waste it. Hello guys! Okay. <laughs> Have the most wonderful day! Hello my friend! Hello, How are you? I'm good, you? And so, <laughs> I'm, I'm a local now, I'm a native! <laughs> I'm still local! <laughs> Hello guys, well I figured it was about time I put together a channel trailer which summarises some of the places I've been to so far and when this nasty Covid is over and done with, on a plane I shall be experiencing others' cultures once again. As always, please subscribe, hit the bell button down here and get a notification of when new videos drop. What's your order? Why is it not? Is it okay? 
Yeah. I went for a chow mein. Oh, chow mein. Chow mein, chow mein and a spring roll, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, you also ordered this one? I think it's the same, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Two. Why they are two? Because you have no bigger bowls, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This one? Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna put you off the So let's take this back a little bit, guys, to explain why I chose to travel to begin with. Well, I've always grown pretty much with a camera in my right hand. I've always enjoyed documenting things, but let me go into some more detail as to why I decided to travel full time. That was me again. You okay? Oh! Pretty, pretty.
What I find kind of interesting is that my style of filming has always been kind of vloggy before that has become recognized as a title. And now with the power of YouTube, it gives people a platform to run with and be incredibly creative. I give it 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. But whose house is it? Go. And as I watch certain video footage back, I actually left myself pointers of how I wanted to edit it in the future. I'm mix all this stuff together to make a sequence bunch of stuff. And now, with the beauty of time travel via video editing, I'm now able to Marty McFly the shit out of this and seek my own approval in the process from the past. So whilst previously living in London had its own fun elements, getting to work, getting there on the train, felt a little bit like this. And finding a seat, well, that was a different matter. But aside from the work aspect, London was a hybrid of creativity. Certain areas of London just filled with creative energy. And this was from people on the streets performing to art installations. There was no end of things in London demanding your attention. So as much as I enjoyed living in London, I felt it was time for a change, a time to go on to the next chapter of my life. And that situation was taken out of my hands and presented to me as I'd broken my leg. And as a result, I was hospitalized. So after returning home, after being in hospital for a whole week, with nothing but white walls to look at for thinking time, well, I started to feel claustrophobic. With all my life stuff that I'd collected and owned, but after being bedbound for nearly four months, I found online minimalism which I became really intrigued by when I started researching the benefits. In essence, it's owning less, which gives your life so much more and having a more enriched quality of life as a result. Because people are insecure and they need validation from others. And I think they use items to get validation from others. I really do. I think and I'm happy that I don't buy things for other people's opinions, but I think most people do. So I decided to put Gary V's theory to the test and I started to declutter my life. And in doing so, this made space for all the things I'd been procrastinating on. It allowed me to focus on my health and my life goals. I felt like a weight had been lifted from me. I decided there was nothing holding me in London. My parents lived overseas, I have no children, I have no wife. So I had a desire to explore other people's cultures because ultimately it seems that people who owned less had a much better quality of life. Smiles were abundant. So I went to Thailand And for the first time in my life, I'd started to feel a connection, a deeper connection to a place, a place of belonging, a place that was calling me. And I concluded as a result that I'd been chasing pleasure all these years and not happiness. Not that happiness was my goal, because happiness ultimately is to be found by pursuing things. But I just craved a different life. And I now knew outside the comfort zone 
is where all the fun is to be had. If we're not constantly moving forward and progressing with our goals in life, then we become stagnant. So with that in mind, I decided to move to Thailand, also known as the Land of Smiles. I lived there for just under a year, but afterwards I then returned back to London for a personal matter. Bert had the realization and knew ultimately that life was way more interesting in Asia and other countries full of culture. I was myself editing and watching a lot of super edited content. I really felt a connection with one shot filming rather than super edited content. So again, I decided to downsize my life and I now travel with two bags and letting go of my attachment to things and embracing life as a traveling nomadic minimalist has made life more enriching. I love to have interactions with people. Living out of a bag allows you to treat the world every day as your stage. And it was the best decision I ever made. I wholeheartedly recommend it, guys. What are you waiting for? So I don't know if you guys remember Andrew. Um, we previously had a, a meal together at Deer Park. No. And Andrew's just been off traveling everywhere. Hello, my Hello, friend. Sir. How are you? I'm good, you? And so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm a local now, I'm a native. <laughs> I'm and still local. <laughs> I, I've been in Delhi now for seven weeks, and Andrew's been off traveling around India. You've been to where? You've been to Bangalore, Mysore, mm -hmm. and Cochin. No, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Cochin. So you've been to lots of places, huh? Yeah. So Quite Udabu. different areas. Yeah, Udabu. Mumbai. So it's really nice to have a friend back to see him again, but it's, it's also pretty cool to go out and eat with somebody. Ready for the dogs and cats. More like a chimpanzee. Do you, do you know here? <laughs> I just come from there. Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, how much? 500. Sorry? 500. 500, I just come for 200 here. Okay. okay. Why you, would you? Uh, Mapalpur hmm? Santi Place Hotel. Sorry? You, you address? Yes. Yes. Okay, 500, okay? No, you said 200. I come here for 200. 200. Sir, you mean my Kraya, you know. You round, okay? Tapir 500, okay? You do what, sir? You. Namaste. Hello. Hello. Always nice to meet nice people. Hello. Hi. Hey, steady boys. He can't take us. There's three of us. I don't want to be him. There's three. No, no. Jeff, come back. We're going. Jeff, don't break rank. Jeff. Jeff, you. Toby, you'll stay with me, yeah? Toby, where you go? Oh, better join him, I guess. Straight to numbers. Jeff, told me he got down in the estimation. Oh, got down. Oh, 
So another awesome fun day today guys. I was in Jingzhou in central China to look at their ancient city, their ancient city walls which dates back to 770 BC to 476 BC. And as much fun as it was, wait for it, there it is. This cheeky little grin on my face was because I couldn't wait to get on these four wheeled bikes for bike shenanigans. If you're not sure what bike shenanigans is, it's open to interpretation. But I knew it was going to be a lot of fun and it didn't disappoint. As you can tell by all the manic laughter, it was an awesome time. A lot of Chinese people very rarely see Westerners. And I was getting this response, this facial reaction, a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, here's another one. That's a really nice baseball stadium. Yeah. Yeah. You just walked down the road, you got some takeout food from Denny's. Everything's super huge. Look at the size of the bag. Look how much salt and vinegar they gave me. Look at this. You know what I mean? This is for one person. That's the Donnie difference. I was in Detroit for one week, and speaking of walking, I did ask, why is it I never see anybody else ever walking around? And I was promptly told, oh yes, uh, don't walk around anywhere on your own, ever. This is Detroit, and people still like to do drive bars. Oh, that's Canada right there. That's Canada. No shit. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it? It's another country. Yeah, that's wild, <laughs> man. Craig, you drive down Philly, you're looking at Jersey. <laughs> the Delaware's there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's about it. And that's the Detroit River, it's called? Yep. And let me ask you something. Over in Canada, do they call it the Detroit River? Yeah. <laughs> really? It's the Detroit River. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> I used to work down here. Down, uh, right down for like 15 years making kitchen countertops. Until I started tattooing. <laughs> Some more, man. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it tonight. You say this. <laughs>
everybody tends to get uh, plane anxiety when the plane lands. Everybody scrambles from their seats when the seatbelt sign is still on just to get the bags so they can get off the plane as soon as possible. Um, I, I guess I can understand that if you're in a rush, if you've got a connection, people are waiting, that kind of thing. But generally, just go with the flow. <laughs> That being said, uh, I haven't slept much, so I really need to sleep, and yeah, I kind of do need the toilet, so I might have to rethink that strategy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. PMA. Positive mental attitude. Flip that switch, turns it on, twist this here, that's your power control. Sunday the 7th of December 2008, after my birthday. It's freezing. How cold it? Nice to meet you guys and Same here, have a great time. Huh? Same here, we'll name? do the elbow click. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's from Chris. It's from Harshid. Harshid? Harshid. Harshid? Harshid? Yeah. Okay. Agash. Haba? Agash. Agash. Agash? Yeah. Agash means sky. Really? Yeah. yeah That's it's beautiful. And your Shayas. name? Shayas? Yeah. Does that mean anything? Or? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he, he has the name, huh? Agash. It's good meaning. Agash means Harshid and uh, Agash means sky and Harshid means always smiling. Are we smiling? Yeah. Really? She yeah. means nothing in the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Chris. It's just Chris. 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 <laughs> just Chris. Nice to meet you. That's a nice name. You too, guys. Okay, Have a so beautiful day. day. Enjoy, man. Take care. It's a little bit of an unfortunate name there, though, huh? <laughs> hey, PMAers, what is up? Have you ever started a day in your life ever with beer for breakfast? Some of you may, and today was my day. I ventured out with a friend's father to go and get breakfast, and we weren't allowed to venture out on our own, so we were being chaperoned for somewhere to eat. And breakfast was a bit bizarre. I later found out that it was just the assumption that because we're from the UK typically people will drink too much alcohol and therefore we would <laughs> alcohol for breakfast <laughs> and the lady had the assumption that we live every day in this manner. <laughs> and the noodles were crazy spicy. Um, a little advice to anybody who ever ventures to Asia, when asked if you want whatever you're eating, hot, if you want it spicy, say less or medium. 
because <laughs> they have a different understanding of what hot and spicy is. <laughs> As my friend's father found out. But hey, he had the beer to wash it down with. <laughs> this is the worst place to get across. I am. Um, when, when I started this new leg of the adventure, I told myself, you're coming out of your comfort zone, which I, I, which I believe you have to do anyway. Oh, look at this guy. Huh. <laughs> friend. There's another one there. taking yourself outside of your comfort zone and when I was doing this leg of what the future holds I knew I'd be coming outside my comfort zone but nothing like being out of your comfort zone is like being here right now <laughs> in all this This is the spectacular view, guys, taken from the island of Phuket in Thailand, where they have the big Buddha statue temple. Yeah, the footage is taken from there, and it's uh, it's pretty beautiful. This gorgeous little beach is Nihon Beach again in Phuket where I enjoyed my time there swimming most days. You're not allowed to film inside. This is you're not allowed to take pictures. But, yeah. Yeah. Let's get him directed as to how he's take his photograph there. Down boy! Down boy! It's pretty beautiful here, right? Eh? It's really surprising that there's no entrance. Down boy! Down! Hey guys, today I was returning to Nanjin Road to go to the Apple store to pick up a laptop. Hi. Hi. But not everything went as planned. So whilst this didn't work out, I did however meet a lovely Chinese woman who was working at the Apple store. She spoke perfect English and she mentioned that she'd lived previously in Edinburgh while she was a student for two years and she'd worked there in a Tesco Metro of all places. She mentioned it was a shame that I was only in Shanghai for two days as she would have liked to have taken me to some places. So sometimes in life, the outcome of situations doesn't always meet our expectations 
and sometimes we can leave with something far more interesting and meaningful. I will always take experiences over material possessions simply because generally our attachment to material possessions are short-lived whereas positive experiences result in longer sustainable levels of happiness. Yeah, but I, I give you this and you said 200 right? I know but you can't, I can't. Okay sir, okay, okay, no problem, 500, okay? 500? Yes. No, you said 200. 300? 200. No, I, I, but, 400 lakh okay. No, but I came here for 200 in a tuk tuk you with somebody else. Okay, somebody you address the for 400, okay? Yo, your prices are going up and down here. Good. One photo, please. Sorry? One photo. One photo? Huh. Phone lega mera. Phone lega phone. One photo, please, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. No time. Buy my phone, please. Is. <laughs> my phone. <laughs> Give me my phone. <laughs> why, why does he have your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me my phone. My phone. Give me 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 my phone. Okay. We have to do this because of the virus, right? Wow, wonderful! <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No, clean, clean. Yeah. Hey. yeah, wonderful! Okay, no tag. Okay, bye. Nice to meet you guys. Okay, have bye. a great day. I really miss this beach in Thailand. As I said, I used to go here on most days when I lived in Phuket. And when it's okay to fly again. This will be a box that needs to be ticked as I will once again swim in the ocean there, fantastic. Look at you, you're just beautiful, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at you. Take you home, huh? Hello! 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 Hello!
<laughs> you guys have good reactions, by the way. Yo! So have to go this way or? This way. This way? Yeah, okay. Seeing you fellas every day, and uh, good to know the feeling is mutual. <laughs> now you see a bit of skirt, and he's off, he's away. Yeah, that's more than like it, eh? Hello, pal. <laughs> what the dickens, man? Hello, <laughs> really food for your pal. You got a basil brush thing going on, eh? Gimme sausages! Gimme sausages! I really wanted to document this area guys just to show you en route to the five senses gardens where I was entering through. You can see this little girl playing with a dog here but behind her those are actually houses where people people are living in this in this area. So I thought it was important to to document this just so you get an idea 
of the area. Uh, people light fires in the area to keep warm, but you can see all these kind of holes here where many fires have been lit. And this is one of the main reasons, along with industry, that why Delhi has such bad air pollution, because everybody is lighting fires. And the guys in the distance there, it was only after watching the footage back that I could see that they were trying to get my attention. New York man, 2012 February, it's technically now St. Valentine's Day in the early hours of the morning and as you can see, Times Square behind me. <laughs> I came in and I saw the single bed and I thought I hope I have a double bed and there's one double bed, two double beds and a third bed. <laughs> In China, it is a big belief that when you pass over, 
you take money on to the the next life the the afterlife the money of course is counterfeit not a bad business to be into to be fair you give the person real money and he gives you mickey mouse money you know <laughs> so yeah it's um it's a belief that you offer the person money and wherever they are now that money will be of benefit to them and i'm certainly not mocking the process because everybody has their their own beliefs for me it was just kind of nice that i'd been included in a family when they'd gone to see their departed family member So how to spend a Christmas day in an Indian hotel, you ask? Or ask no more. Just use those two things above your nose and feast the eyeballs. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. This is, this is absolutely awesome, huh? Awesome. Some, sometimes I have like, uh, like here or here, but this, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Happy Christmas, something. my friend. Sorry? Yes, hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Shanti Palace. By you too. You are the most important guest is today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a Merry Christmas. I used to bounce on you still along with you. Oh my God, I'm the black man. You don't kill me, my dear. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. And to you. I think guys, I think I just saw St. Nick. Could could be mistaken. I know he was he was very busy last night, you know, delivering delivering everywhere. <clears throat> it's the busiest time of the year, of course, Christmas Eve. And apparently, he had issues with his slave. I'm sure I just saw it. Uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa Claus, of course, has been on a crash diet. He's lost uh, a considerable amount of, that, amount of weight, as you've just seen. Yeah, and he's, he's actually drinking less as well, so he's, he's lost the red nose and not so much red cheeks either. You know? But he's uh, he has been giving out free hats, which is mandatory to wear. <laughs> Hey guys, five senses this way? Yeah. Okay, down your back. So luckily my humming is really bad. So that I don't get any copyright claims when I'm trying to upload content. <laughs> there you have the scooter park. Hey, hi. Hello. How are you? We'll, we'll do this because no, no, no. of the virus. Huh? We'll do like a 
Namaste. Well, it's, it's hard with the camera. Right? Well, There's nothing hard, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Beautiful weather today, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. So you're blogging right now? Yes. All right. You're from which country? Uh, London, England. Oh, great. I've been to London. I was staying there in Notting Hill. Notting Hill? Yeah. Oh, that's nice, nice. Modern court. Just like the movie, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long were you in London for? Uh, I was there for three months. Uh, nice. Yeah. Like, uh, I visited all the places, tourist places I've been there. Clubbing is good, Tiger Tiger. Yeah, so. Yeah. 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 And sorry, you said you've been in before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good? Yeah, very nice, very nice. You'll see all, all the couples <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. I've noticed that in a different park, yeah. yeah you should go to our Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal? Yeah, I've been to there. No, I'm, I'm going to go to Varanasi yeah. and then, oh. go, then go back to Agra. Then yeah. that was it. Yeah. Cool. So in England, we drive on the left side and most European countries drive on the right side. China, well they do things somewhat differently. They drive in the center of the road. And in Canada around Christmas time, well generally the roads are kind of icy. Big white baby. Bottom of the hill. Hacking, weight loss hack, fitness hack, diet hack, hack your kids, hack your wife. <laughs> What's going on? Google any variation of this term and see what comes up. What's the entire conference based on this comes up? How to have publishing to hit the New York Times bestseller list. You said 300 a minute ago, you can't go up and down. <laughs> oh, I no problem, okay? No, two, two, well, I came here for 200. 300, no problem. You, me, my tuk tuk kraya. You pulled, pulled, you tuk tuk kraya. We, we all need to eat. And there be no problem, okay? Sorry? 400 last time. 100. 400. 100? Yeah. <gasps> so can you guess where I am? That's right, still in China. Said to my friend. 
And he said, I've got just the place for you. What's that? Just the place. That's right, just the place. He said, I've got just the place for you. Follow me. And follow him I did, all the way to Naboo. Now, if anybody's a Star Wars fan out there, they'll know that Naboo doesn't really exist. It's a place in a galaxy far, far away. But I did, however, find myself in Lake Como, Italy, for a wedding. And where the ceremony took place was used as a location in Attack of the Clones. As you can see my footage here interspersed with footage from the movie where Anakin Skywalker got married to Padme. But I will say this, those stormtroopers are an argumentative bunch I had trouble gaining access on the day as security was very tight. Yes. Tight. Yes. yes, tight like a tiger. So it's quite a cool experience being here on this day to retread where they'd been. But the stormtroopers had no sense of humour. This guy, I only asked him how his wife was. <laughs> This place, guys, was a lot of fun to go to in Thailand. The entire place was built on platforms in the trees. So you got fantastic views. And Super awesome chair, it's just a perfect hangout. You know, if reading books is your thing or you want a cheeky little meditation, then this was a great way to spend an afternoon. Oh, look out, my face looks mischievous. Wait for it. <laughs> so it's no secret that I love animals and what do you make of this little fella? What a bundle of joy. So cute it made me laugh so much. Is he gonna stay? Is he gonna go? <laughs> He or she is the epitome of somebody who's indecisive <laughs> with the back and forth in and out. <laughs> what name should we call you then? Uh, 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 <laughs> Guys, just put a name for this fella in the in the comments. You have to shout pretty loud for him to hear you, of course. You know? Namaste, my friend. It's closed. Closed. Oh, what's the matter? Here's Tommy. Tommy. Put the kettle on, would you, Tommy? Here you go. I haven't got the kettle. You've got the kettle. Hey.
<laughs> Who's gonna kill? Who's gonna kill? I don't, think I'm, don't think I'm getting my cup of tea today, guys. <laughs> Probably doesn't seem to recall where he's put the kettle. Which doesn't help us. I managed to capture some spectacular fork lightning on a rooftop in New Delhi. Although in retrospect, I don't think standing on the rooftop on my own was the smartest move. Today's the day, my friends, to break my alcohol fast, I guess you could say. Uh, seven weeks with no alcohol whatsoever. I feel fantastic because I'm in Spain today. I'm really looking forward to having lunch and having a few drinks with my parents. Alcohol's never been an issue for me, although this clip does contradict that. Pick up your bottles of beer. Thank you very much, Andrew. Please pick up your bottles of beer. Now you're standing here. And on the count of three, you've got to try and down it in one. One, two, three, chuck, 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 chuck. It made it very special holding off to have a beer until I saw my parents in seven weeks time. There's something very awesome about sharing a beer with your dad. And until that moment, here's a little clip of me sharing a beer with him before. <laughs> Today's gonna to be a fantastic day. I've earned it, I've worked hard and I deserve it and it's gonna be awesome. Some watermelon. We like watermelon, don't we? Yes, we do. got back from the store and my water from yesterday we can move this as well okay so what do we have here a coconut milk which is supposed to be 100% vegetable uh, so I got coconut milk a banana a water for later as so I'll stick with that one for now and I got a watermelon so I got I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to eat all that watermelon but it's, uh, it's about as healthy as I could get in the supermarket to start my day with. Awesome. Interesting story for those who don't know about Gandhi. Um, not a very well-known story, but uh, at one stage Gandhi's wife got incredibly ill and she wanted to go to the hospital and get it addressed. Uh, Gandhi said there was to be, as far as he was concerned, there was to be no medical intervention and you need to, to go with it, essentially. And as a result, she died. 
but uh, a week later, I'm trying not to laugh here, so a week later, Gandhi himself got ill and he was straight down the hospital. Ah. <laughs> True story. Give me sausages! say this is the worst airport in the world <laughs> because all areas need improvement <laughs> these seats were in high demand huh to leave that area guys because uh, there's a crying baby behind me that's got a little bit too much and uh, somewhat ironically as soon as I turned the camera on uh, she stopped crying so I should have done it earlier <laughs> wait, wait me when the show starts it's already been on a while <laughs> Wake me when it's over. Berlin being the home of beer and what a bizarre way to start the day. Have a beer and then fell myself in the streets. <laughs> over here where you have the U. That's the underground. This is a place where we kind of get breakfast every day, which is pretty cool. Sandwiches, coffees, the usual stuff. Ooh, Dankeschön indeed. 
And here we have Checkpoint Charlie. Not often you get to walk around in Berlin in the centre of where east meets west between the two Berlin walls. In case you weren't aware, this is what's called Checkpoint Charlie. A bit blurred. A little bit late at night. Apparently it's called Checkpoint Charlie to do with the uh, to do with the order. A is Alpha, B is Beta, C is Charlie, and so forth. And if you come here during the day, they will charge you money to your passport stamped and your photograph taken and if you can see on the other side of the picture that we just went past it's the Soviet Union and if you can see just over there where we just came from this is the remainder of the Berlin Wall which goes across there It's interesting to get a reaction of people when you walk around filming yourself like this because they probably think, who the f is this guy? What the f is he doing? And also when I'm looking around like this, it makes me look like I'm a paranoid tourist. But at the end of the day, I just look at life as a series of moments. And this moment will be gone in a minute. So if I look stupid or feel like a bit of a dick, I don't really care. Today guys, yeah, that's me. I'm getting a flight from Shanghai to Yi Chang, which is a westerly direction. The flight will take two hours, 10 minutes, and then afterwards I'm in a car journey for three hours going to a place called Songzi, which is southbound from Yi Chang. Right now I'm getting in the maglev train. If you haven't seen my video about the entire journey of the maglev, click here now. Every time I go to an airport, the thought that always crosses my mind 
is how much easier would this transit be and how much cooler if you had a skateboard it's the perfect surface for it I'm not sure what the message was referring to but I got there for a good time waited for half an hour then the plane started to bore <laughs> so as I mentioned guys, the duration of this flight is 2 hours and 10 minutes and the flight was delayed. It was dark by the time we left and I was just glad that they didn't ask us to leave the plane. But another night in Shanghai wouldn't have been an issue. But we got to take off so all was well. When Mao Zedong's Communist Party took power, tattoos were doubly condemned as not only mark of loose morals, but also proof of an unhealthy bourgeois individualism. So this takes me to Joe Dan Ting, spelled Z-H-U-O, pronounced Joe Dan Ting. Now she's an artist in Shanghai, and she's ambidextrous, as you can see here. So that fascinated me from the get-go for its uniqueness. So after doing a lot of research and seeing some of the art that she was bringing to life, focusing on using just one machine allows the person to create a masterpiece. So I messaged her. We had a little bit of back and forth. It was all very last minute to arrange, but in the two day window I had in Shanghai, she said she would be able to fit me in. Which was awesome. I love being around creative types in general and especially artists. So afterwards, I felt a little bit like this. Just a little bit, but I felt a lot like this. I really enjoy getting tattooed in countries full of culture. So with maps and all the information I needed, I set off to find a studio.
300 200 oh, that didn't have to be. you can't go from 300 to 400 no, 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 no. okay <laughs> 200 you no 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 problem okay no, for, for no problem for 200 400 my friend no bro i'm quite happy you, to walk you, you camera huh camera yeah Okay, and a okay? Sorry? For and last. No, like, you said 300. <laughs> Look, 200, my friend. That's, that's, that's the bizarrest haggle I've ever had in my life. no problem, okay? Sorry? For and last, okay? 200, my friend, or I can walk. No, friend, you need my cry up here, okay? I'm, I'm telling you, I will pay you 200 and no more, okay? You, Bamadu? I just want to go to hotel. No touristic stuff for me. In this, in this universe, uh, very, uh, very need meditation mm -hmm. for humanity. So without meditation, uh, our people, our society cannot live in good moment. You're very spiritual because I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you meditate a lot. I am mean, I'm a teacher, meditation teacher. Yoga and meditation. Uh, that is the native place of Osho. You know Osho? Osho, really? Yes! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was only thinking earlier today that it's, it's, it's a little crazy here with the traffic, right? Yes. And I was thinking if I lived in India, I would have to meditate a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome, welcome in India <laughs> for meditation. <laughs> Hello guys. So I just lost my best friend to cancer. Yeah. Cancer research that is, he now works in the 80 hour week and I never get to see him anymore. No? No takers? Oh dear. One of them actually turned the nose up at me. That's the first monkey I've seen here. Well, uh, that monkey wasn't looking so friendly. <laughs> I did think initially, you know, they could just quite easily take the camera off you, but he looked like he was going to pounce. Here's that beach again.
Yes, has anybody been avidly watching this video? Can you remember the title of the beach? If so, leave it in the comments. If I had any merch to give you, I would, but I haven't, so I can't. But uh, as bizarre as it sounds, I completely forgot that I was wearing glasses. It's only when a certain something happens, which you keep watching, you'll find out, that I then found out that I didn't have them. It's hard to do this without giving a spoiler away. That's a good one as well. <laughs> <laughs> This is me traveling to see my parents and having no alcohol for seven weeks. I could have done it at certain stages, traveling yesterday, many times I wanted to, but I held off because I wanted to have a beer with my dad, drinks with my mum today, so this means a lot to me and I me I've earned it. <laughs> Cheers dad, love you pal. <laughs> Wow, I forgot what it tastes like. What's the experience like? Is it enjoyable? It's quite beautiful, yes it is. Hey guys, so today is my last evening in India. Uh, actually, I'm not 100% right now, but I've had confirmation that I'm to be on a repatriate flight back to London Heathrow. So uh, it's a little bit of a bitter pill because I don't want to go back, but I think things here could get a little bit crazy. So I'm going to see if I can pick up just a couple things to take back with me. Oh, 
Oh, we're going off now, isn't it, eh? Eh? Territory, eh? What's going on with you? You can't stand up. Oh, look at the little, little pool there, eh? If you're new to my channel guys, thank you so much for giving your time. Because all said and done, the most important, precious thing we ever have in our lifetime is time, who we choose to give it to, who we choose to share it with. So hashtag gratitude. I'm always super appreciative that people choose to watch my content. Positive mental attitude. Fuck yes. And positive mental attitude, the last clip there with me with the leg and recovery, because no matter what life throws at you, you can always move forward and progress. And thank you to everyone who's encouraged me, who's inspired me and continues to inspire me to do better, to be better. And again, if you're new to the channel, guys, feel free to subscribe, feel free to hit that bell notification. You don't need an explanation. You know what the notification does. Have an awesome day, guys. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life.